so uh, I believe this, uh, this fantastic presentation demonstrated what I told to beginning. We are on the shoulder of giants uh, like Sir Coulson, but like all the people we have seen in that, uh, uh, in, in that presentation. And uh, w this was what really permits uh, to an industry to flourish. So uh, now we, uh, that we have uh, a look uh, to the past, start to think uh, to the future. Uh, I decided to give this title uh, to this presentation, Why Weapons of Mass Disruption of Dual Value Chain. Because uh, there is uh, a lot uh, of examples in history of industries uh, destroyed by not intercepting uh, a change and, and evolution within uh, the value chain of the industrial sector. And so uh, at Planetech, uh, we decided since the beginning uh, that it was very important to look uh, at what would be the future and where we uh, should move. I'm sorry, this presentation will be maybe more boring uh, than the previous one, and uh, I hope uh, during uh, all this I will not lost uh, your attention, but, well, many of you know this slide. This is the traditional uh, value chain of Earth observation. You got uh, a satellite data, that is the famous upstream. You have a midstream where you have uh, acquisition station, then a data distributor, then a value add the provider, so us, and then a user at the end. Well, the question that we, every day, every morning we wake up at Planet uh, pose us uh, is uh, where we are there? Well, uh, there is a, a process ongoing. Everybody talks about new space. Uh, we know which are the main characteristics of new space, uh, new approach to space, uh, a disruption of the traditional value chain. People uh, never have seen around uh, is proposing new way to reach uh, uh, the orbit, uh, new enormous constellation of satellite in a low Earth orbit uh, that uh, we presume could provide a better resolution in time <coughs> and space, lower launcher cost, and uh, a lot uh, of private investments large part in US that's go there, are reshaping our industry. But some of the promise of new space are very hard to maintain, we believe. First of all, uh, when you put something in the space, you have always a download bottleneck. So you take data on board and uh, you must put them down. Not an easy task. I don't go through this slide to not, not annoy you. But another thing that's very important is that when you build up a constellation, you have to start thinking of how much will cost refurbish it. And if you are not very efficient using that constellation, you can incur in very important costs. For example, NCR, a marketing study company, estimates that two years of mistake in the refurbishing time for the Planet Lab constellation will cost 90 million, and uh, this can disrupt uh, their business plan. So, the devil, as usual, is in the details. New Space Enterprise uh, uh, not yet deliver true value to the user. It's not completely clear what we are going to do with the nice uh, uh, films uh, generated in orbit. The competition with bigger satellites is not so easy. Big uh, digital globe satellite uh, or uh, Arvas uh, optical satellite uh, still produce uh, uh, better images uh, with very high resolution and are keeping up uh, in, uh, in, uh, in delivery time uh, and uh, with the new mo mode of delivery. There are, as we've seen, uh, some hidden costs uh, that can make uh, this uh, operation uh, not financially sustainable. And last but not the least, many and quite all these new cameras in uh, Earth observation for space come from uh, industries uh, that uh, know nothing about uh, EO applications that are in the end uh, the real place where you can make business and money. So uh, some game changers, that's 
should play. And uh, it's where uh, we as planet uh, are trying to position uh, ourselves. Uh, what is changing the market uh, downstream in Earth observation? First, uh, we move from uh, geoinformation, traditional geoinformation, to geoanalytics that should be scalable in space and time. The business model of your service uh, is uh, reshaping. We are no more uh, doing uh, standard uh, one-shot service while trying uh, to produce uh, seamless information to our user, and this is obviously thanks uh, to the enormous amount of data that are provided to us uh, by Sentinel. And uh, all the market is moving rapidly from a big uh, investment in capital for very big uh, data processing chain uh, or a desktop uh, expensive service to a much flexible operational info as a service model. So what uh, we are trying to do is uh, to provide to our customer some information that is ready to use and uh, very close to their business model. What we are trying to do is to operate an extensive data fusion uh, with the other kind of data that are not from satellite but uh, are available from different sources. And try to be the first, so among the first that put all this in a single unified model where uh, the satellite acquired information is the tile where you link all the other data and information available. In, in the end, what we try to do is transform data in actionable knowledge by our users. So, uh, I'm sorry, uh, we are now in the position uh, to show you very nice colored image because we are moving in producing actionable information. We are trying to produce uh, predictive analytics uh, that helps uh, our user to see what will be the future. We try to support uh, the decision of our user, and in the end, uh, we support our user in understand uh, the effects of their decision using subscription service, vertical information, big data integration, and uh, globally scalable and uh, as far as possible automatic service. Also because uh, uh, we are a company, as I told you, we have to survive, and uh, the idea is that there is a very big beef out there. There is an expected uh, 3 billion market for service. About of this market, uh, one half billion uh, will be in Europe, maybe thanks also for uh, the uh, enormous impact uh, of uh, the Commission and ESA activities. And a uh, considerable market is our domestic market. But this is only an addressable market. It's not true market. It's not true that uh, there are users there uh, that already have in their budget uh, uh, for uh, uh, 2027, three billion of euro to spend uh, with our services. So, why we move uh, to geoanalytics uh, from uh, traditional uh, geoservice? First, uh, there is a market uh, that uh, grow faster. The market uh, of, uh, the expected market uh, for Earth observation will be for downstream service uh, growing at a 10% year over year speed. The expected market for analytics, even smaller, will grow at a 30% year over year. So it's more attractive for a company like Planet. So how to address this problem? Well, again, uh, some of uh, the slogan like big data could be one of the reply to this uh, problem. First thing, uh, put together other information, for example, information for news, or use in an attractive way geotagged uh, text message uh, within uh, the social media. media. All this uh, can support uh, the generation of uh, the reticus machine. As I told you, reticus machine is a machine that takes uh, data from satellite, put them uh, with the data from uh, other uh, source, put uh, together the system of information that the enterprise use for uh, control their flow, transform it uh, in knowledge, 
transfer it to GeoPortal uh, and to the nice uh, user interface you can see if you connect to reticles.eu, but uh, moreover, provide also machine-to-machine -machine interface in order to make happier our robot that you have seen in my previous presentation. Reticles uh, serve all these industries, uh, from utilities, engineering, food, and government, and produce uh, no more than a nice map, produce uh, graphical information, can support, uh, uh, for example, in this case, uh, is an application uh, to uh, the marine legislation for zoning uh, of water quality in Europe, or can even provide uh, no map information at all. This is uh, a product based uh, on Sentinel-3 data that support uh, fisheries uh, on uh, evaluation of the best moment to sell in the market uh, their product, and obviously used together with satellite data, data from the stock exchange of uh, this kind of things. Another funny thing is that, as you will see in the uh, next uh, presentation, is uh, why they, a company, the Planetech, that is born as a service company in the downstream, is moving upstream. Well, there is uh, a disruptive contribution from the new space. Uh, we understand that we can cut off, will be cut off from this stream if we don't move upward. Because, uh, well, first of all, uh, there are a lot of data available. So it's uh, not so more a, a strategic advantage to be sit of a mountain of data. It's better to, to know how well uh, we can process this kind of, of information. There is a lowering cost of high-performance computing. Today, it's very easy to access uh, enormous capability of computation. There is uh, a growing uh, capability of onboard processing also. There is a lot of stuff that you can do on board, and this can reduce uh, the bottleneck in transmission of data. Fix what's happened if you can take uh, some data and transform them uh, right away in analytics, and so transmit a few bits and not uh, tons of data downstream. And then uh, another important figure is, again, who will be our user? And if uh, a user should be a machine, you will be fast. The machine should be directly connected with the source of information. So we started uh, to look at uh, the application of in the artificial intelligence to that. And we've seen that there are several areas of artificial intelligence, uh, as you know, that can support uh, earth observation product delivery, from processing, uh, pre-processing, acquisition, and even uh, monitoring uh, and handling of uh, uh, the overall uh, strategy of moving uh, our system. So we start uh, again uh, with Philab, uh, CTO Plus, that is uh, uh, a really test bed of all this technology applied uh, to Earth observation, <coughs> where uh, we start to use uh, ground approved uh, uh, off the shelf uh, so <coughs> hardware, but uh, uh, we are already looking at the opportunity to use uh, <coughs> space-qualified uh, GPU that uh, we will have in the near future. And uh, uh, always to make happier our customer, human and uh, robotic ones, we are developing also the right uh, blockchain protocol that enable intelligent agents to sign a smart contract to make uh, validation of contracts but also of quality and contents of data. So, our value proposition for both service and the region for which uh, we are moving our service in space is uh, make available on board uh, artificial intelligence uh, support that could be configurable, have a payload and bus that can share uh, this capability, and uh, mission on demand configurable so that uh, we can transform our satellite in the vendor machine I show you at the beginning, and in some way also support a very fast in orbit demonstration and validation environment. We are doing this in Incubed, and uh, this is another ISA clever idea because we believe that Incubed have all this quality for industry. Help us in open new market keep our initiative within the, our companies, 
promise eight weeks uh, to contract. And uh, it's also compatible with other sorts of funding. This uh, makes a very clever approach to the thing. And uh, last but not least, uh, let us retain uh, the IPR intents of this activity. So uh, this is uh, our next uh, project. It's a project uh, that uh, we are doing uh, with the Orbit, uh, that is a very innovative company in uh, the field of uh, uh, small sat and uh, with AICO, that uh, a very big experience of artificial intelligence for uh, space application. And uh, the, the platform is uh, a <coughs> small satellite delivery platform, and uh, what we are essentially doing is putting some brain on it. So this will be make uh, happy our user. So I want to share with you this graph that is now our mantra. To survive, uh, we move on three horizons. The first horizon is that of uh, EO service. Consider that uh, traditional bespoke and service is still more than 80% of uh, our business. They, are, they have high recurring costs. Uh, they are the reason for which Planetech today is not uh, 2,000 uh, people, but uh, only 70 people give uh, a rather generic coverage information that uh, then the user must think to use in some way, have a low level of automation, and have a very high geographic dependency. So if I make one of the study, study for uh, Puglia region, it's uh, very difficult that I can sell the same service in North America. We are uh, fast moving into information as a service delivery. What I, I show you is uh, delivered uh, by Reticus that is a subscription service. Today, Planet sells already one million euro per year of this kind of service around the world. Provide analytical vertical information, develop a strong integration with other kind of data, and uh, try to put as far as we can automation within our service. But we are already, as I show you, working the, to the very future, what we call space stream. This is the future of satellite to user direct service, virtual sensor that can be in orbit uh, configurable as the need of our user and uh, of our application are. Have a lot of in space uh, processing of data and have uh, finally globally scalable service. Thank you very much.